here for more great NFL action as we're just about ready for the opening kickoff. Let's take you now to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth. We're getting set for the kickoff. We couldn't have asked for a better day for football as we get ready for today's game. Welcome, everyone. Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth here with a call. Let's head down to the field now for the opening kickoff. He's hammered at the 28-yard line. You always want to have a successful first drive. It really sets the tone for the whole game offensively. Let's see how they do here. Manning hands it off straight ahead. He is hit hard on the play. Jacobs picks up a yard on the play. Not very often in a game does a defender get a clean shot like that on a running back. Typically, the running back didn't see it coming to take that kind of a shot. Play fake. Throws it short. Brought down behind the line. Loses a yard on that completion, so that'll make it third down. The defense lines up in the nickel. Back to throw. He throws left. He's brought down at the 34-yard line. Despite the great effort, it will still bring up fourth. Fourth down. They'll line up to punt this one away. Rushing is back deep to return. He gets it away. Rushing fields it at the 27. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. Seems like the coverage broke down a bit on that one. I thought they had him pretty well contained on that play, but he did find a small crack in the coverage, got it up the field. They were lucky they got hold of him. He could have broken that one off. Markers down. They didn't get it off in time. The live game. Offense. And that one will move the ball back. First Come on, offense. It's time to wake up out there. You can't give away yardage in this game. Manning doesn't like what he sees. They'll throw on first down. Short pass to his left. Brought down at the 28-yard line. Not much there on the screenplay. Second down, 15 yards for the first. The Colts line up with three receivers. The quarterback in the shotgun. Calling an audible. Drops back to pass. Rifles it across the middle. Tackled around the 45-yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with the wideout. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. They might have mistimed the snap on that one. Full start, offense. He needs to pay a little better attention to what he's doing out there. I think those are down. just embarrassing. I, you go back to the huddle and you hang your head and you give it, the, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes those linemen look like little kids when they come back after penalties. Indianapolis changing their play. He looks to throw on first down. Dumps it out right. He lost yardage on the play. That's a two-yard loss. He just couldn't make anything happen after he brought it in. Good job by the defense. They line up in the shotgun. Three wide. Clark goes in motion. Reset it. Reset. Reset it. Right, right, right. Let's go ahead and go get it. Come on, man. Play 
Manning is looking to stay perfect on this drive. And it's completed. And he's hammered at the 42. Pretty nice pickup on the pass that time. And that's simply good design and execution on the pattern. They work hard all week in practice to make sure that on game day, they have that timing down perfectly. Trying to change the play. Hark motioning to the right. Manning has completed every pass on this drive. Fails to connect with the pass. Fourth down coming up, and we're probably going to see the punting unit. So, it's fourth down. The Colts lining up to punt. Here's the kick. He got some distance on it. He fields the punt at the 16. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space, he can create some problems for you, but just no space to be found there. He fakes it. He scrambles away with the catch. And they get him at the 24-yard line. He delivered a nice throw on that drop back, completing it for a pretty good game. You know, there aren't many guys who work any harder than this guy, both in the offseason and during the week of practice. He isn't the most physically gifted quarterback I've ever seen, but you can tell the time he puts in in the film room, in the weight room, and he understands the game of football. He throws on the run. They picked it off. Brought down around the 15-yard line. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Might want to start thinking about trying to pick on that guy. We've seen all day he has simply been quicker to the spot than the wide receivers coming into his area. The Colts changing their play at the line. Hands it to the back. Tackle right around the 10 yard line. A five yard pickup for the halfback. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. A die alone in the backfield. Indianapolis changing their play. Back to throw. He needs to get the pass off. Intercepted. What a shot! I thought that was going to be a touchdown. You no, know, it's so easy to be really critical of a quarterback in this situation, but sometimes defensive players just make remarkable plays, and that was just a great defensive play. Drops back on first down. He throws a bullet out to his left. Knocked out at the 18-yard line. And that pass was moving. Yeah, and it's not that quarterbacks without strong arms can't make it in this league. But boy, it sure is an asset to have a guy with a cannon like that. Roger, Roger, Roger. That play three, man. A little run, a little run, a little run. We're talking about three. They give it to the tailback. He's dropped for a loss. A great defensive effort there. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. Not much time to throw. And he catches another. They get a nice pick up there. Yeah, but he better be careful with those throws. That was pretty tight coverage. They got away with it that time, and I don't know in the future. They hand it off. He fights forward to about the 39. Just about a three-yard gain. That brings up second down. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 39. 
Manning is under center. Offense lines up in an eye. They'll keep it on the ground again. Hit and drop behind the line. The offense had a tough time picking up all their blocks on that play. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want, but ultimately this game comes down to one big man against another big man, and that time the defense's big men, they won the battle. Manning will look to throw. Throws on the run. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. Good game through the air, but they're still short of the first down. Yeah, and if the receiver would have reached the ball out a little bit more, he probably would have been able to pick up the first down there. On a good gainer like that, you just can't allow yourself not to know where those chains are. Could have made that play. Punts it. He fields it at the 17. Hit hard at the 24-yard line. And that return should set this offense up nicely. He did a good job there, finding a seam and getting up the field. You know, a lot of people don't realize that being a punt returner or a kick returner is one of the toughest jobs in the NFL. There's a whole lot of things that could go wrong and only a few that can really go right. Hey, back, back, team, team. New call. Kicks left. It's the tailback. Tackled right around the 24-yard line. And the halfback has nowhere to go. Turn over, D. From the gun. Adjustment at the line now. Mirror, mirror. And straight ahead we go with the fullback. And they get him at the 32-yard line. Around seven yards on the draw play to the fullback. Manning comes to the line, three wide formation. Indianapolis using an audible. There's a play fake, throws it. It's completed. Brought down around the 46-yard line. And this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man coverage. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. That's just good old-fashioned football. But you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. Hands it to the back. He's dropped right around the 38-yard line. A dive gains seven yards on that play. Here we go, here we go, here we go. A dive lines up as the single back. The Colts changing their play at the line. Feeds it to the back. He fights forward to about the 36. A dive gains around three yards on the draw play. And you can really see the defensive play calling becoming a little more aggressive now. They're blitzing on passing downs, they'll blitz on run downs, and that can really put a lot of pressure on an offensive line. Sets up the play action. To the 10. Gets in for the touchdown. And that's about as well executed a play as you can ask for. And that's no fluke right there. We saw him hit that play a couple of times in practice the other day. That's something they're going to come back to until you find a way to stop it. They come on the field to attempt the extra point. Point after is good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary.
the kick. He'll return it from the four yard line. Big hit there to bring him down. They had to punt it away on their previous drive. First down now and 10 to go. Manning is under center, single back backfield. He fakes it, fires it left. Knocked out at the 33. The pass play gives them a gain of six. Just a simple throw and catch for a gain of six. That's just the kind of passing play that this offense is built around. Manning lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. Drops back to pass. Completed. Brought down at the 40. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. On play action, rifles this one out to the middle. He's dropped at the 44-yard line. A good play fake that time. It really was. I didn't see it. I thought it was a run play. He pulled it out of there and came up with a nice game. They come out in a goal line set. It's the tailback. And they get him at the 39-yard line. A pickup of four, and that will bring up second down. Second and six coming up here. Manning is under center. They'll line up in the I formation. Here's the halfback. Jacobs fumbles it. And I think one of the big guys fell on it for the defense. And the defense comes up with a big play there. Well, the number one rule for a halfback is you have to be able to hold on to the football. All the statistics show you turn it over and you're going to lose. Manning sends a man in motion. The Colts changing their play at the line. On the run, he throws it. Tackled at the 46-yard line. A good play to the tight end that time. And tight ends are so big that as coverage people, it's tough to figure out how to defend them. If you're on their left side, they throw it to their right side. If you're behind them, they throw it in front. Tight ends are tough to cover. He looks to throw on first down. Gets the pass out. Almost intercepted. Wayne was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. So they'll face a second and ten. Manning is under center. Single set backfield this time. The Colts changing their play at the line. On the last person you gotta worry about, man. Hey, don't let think they can Get this thing done, man. Back to throw. Rifles this one out to the right. To the 10. And he scores. What a play. Manning puts the ball right where he was able to come down with it for the score. So they're ready for the extra point. And the point after is good. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. And here's the kick. He'll return it from the three. He's tackled at the 27. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Hey, Nick. Wait, Nick. Wait, Nick. Wait, Nick.
He throws it. Tipped ball, intercepted. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. What a big time play. I can't believe he hung on to it. Well, we're going to have to quit using that old cliche about cornerbacks and defensive backs not being able to catch the football. That was some play that time. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Manning adjusts the play at the line. Little handoff. And he will lose yardage on the play. He couldn't get anywhere on that one. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. He's changing things up. They motion to the left. Drops back. Throws wild on the run. He's brought down at the 21-yard line. Clark caught that one for a gain of six. That'll bring up third down. Manning is in the shotgun. He has three receivers split out wide. Changes this one at the line. It appears someone jumped early. Full start, offense. And will replay third down. And the quarterback's thinking, thanks a lot, guys. Now we have some heavy duty lifting to do. Back to pass. Fires it out. He's dropped at the 19. Still not quite enough, however. They'll still be facing fourth down. This offense has really stalled their last two trips to the red zone. And he makes it. He makes that one pretty easily and puts it through for three points. Kicks it off. Taken at the five. And he gets brought down hard. It'll be interesting to see how this quarterback reacts after throwing an interception on his last drive. The Giants come out in a single back formation. Shockey is the man in motion. On play action. Jackson bats it away. Second down coming up after the incomplete pass. They'll face second down and 10. Ball on their own 32. The Giants go with the I formation. Jacobs off the left side. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Jacobs gets three yards on the carry. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 35. The Colts line up with a nickelback. He rolls out to the right. Tackle around the 46-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback to hit the tight end for a decent game. You know, tight ends may not come up with those real explosive plays down the field all the time, but they sure are a nice target for the quarterback. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on the 46 out of the I formation. Oh, no. 
They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they get him around the 47-yard line. Takes the handoff and responds with a 7-yard gain. Jacobs is the single setback. Manning takes it back. Passes it. Brackett knocks it down. Ward was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. The offense facing another third down here as they line up. Jacobs lines up as the deep back, high formation. And much more. For more information on premium season tickets, please see a guest. They'll keep it on the ground again. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. They've got it working on third down. But third down runs are really a statement about an offensive team. They're just saying that I don't think we have to go to any trick plays. I don't think we have to do anything fancy. We're going to line up and let our guys beat your guys. Again with the run. They tackle him for a loss. That quarterback just made this offense look bad. One of the tough things about trying to get a cornerback blocked is how athletic those guys are. If you're a fullback or an offensive lineman or somebody out in front trying to make that block, it's just tough to get a hand on those guys. They're quick. He got deep cleated. Jacobs gains about four yards on the play. Manning lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. He drops back to pass. Scans the field. Catches made. He's brought down at the 17. How about that pass? As a receiver, when you go against a zone defense, it's much more about recognition and knowing where the holes in that zone defense are. That time the receiver executed perfectly and found the open spot. He's dropped at the 16, and the halfback has nowhere to go. It's the 11th play of the drive. They come out with a big set. He'll get it again. Brought down at the 10. The ball carrier gives them six yards on the ground. Well, a familiar situation for this offense as they will attempt to convert yet another third down. They hand it off. Makes a cut, and he will be hit and dropped, and they get no push for the offensive line. Oh, yeah, they did. They were all moonwalking on that play. They were pushing. They were just pushing and going backwards. And it's good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. Decent kick. Taken from the three yard line. He's hammered at the 26 yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Here we go. Indianapolis changing their play. Drops back on first down. Throws it short. He's brought down at the 31. And that one's good for five yards through the air. That'll make it second down. Manning steps to the line of scrimmage. Only one man back here. Manning sends a man in motion. Manning with the gift. And it looks like we have a flag down on the play. And I have a feeling this one's coming back. Holding offense. That seemed like the right call there. Yeah, sometimes you have holding and sometimes you have tackling. That looked more like a tackle. 
lining up with three wides. Indianapolis changing their play. The quarterback is dropped. Good job there by the end to get in there for the sack. Man, I'm really impressed by that guy out there. You know, you, you try to single block him, you can't. You try and double team him, you still can't block him. There are some guys in the league that are just too good. Manning sends a man in motion. Drops back. Looks down the field. There for the reception. And they get him right around the 24-yard line. And for as good of a catch as that was, this offense now has to deal with a fourth down. McQuarters is back deep to receive. Come on! Punts it, and he got a good one here. McQuarters takes it at the 33. They really did a good job keeping him contained on that one. Yeah, he really didn't have much of a chance at all to make anything happen there. I mean, I, I know this guy's a dangerous punt return guy, but you can't do it on your own. Let's stop right now. Go Friday, Friday, Friday. Go Go defense. Go. They'll give it off here. He's dropped right around the 36-yard line. Jacobs picks up about four yards on the play. They line up in a one-back set. Give to the tailback. And he just got hammered. Jacobs gains around two yards there on the misdirection run. Nice call there by the defensive coordinator coming with the outside linebacker blitz, which really puts some pressure on this group up front. They hand it off. Brought down at the 39-yard line. They didn't have the ball long there. And three and outs are embarrassing for an offense. When you go out there and run three plays and have to go jogging back to your sideline, those defensive guys, they aren't too happy. Punts it. Makes the fair catch. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. The offense will take over at the 21-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Indianapolis using an audible. Surveys the field. Tackle at about the 31. What happened there, Chris? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. A die lines up as the single back. There are three receivers split out wide. He's hammered in the backfield. Disappointing loss there for the offense. Yeah, it really just throws you off rhythm to have a play that gains nothing. You know, you're usually you're going to get something, two, three, four yards, and it keeps you in that rhythm. But when a defense makes a play like that, it really throws your offense off. They go with the toss. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. And they were not able to get much there. And so many times you hear offensive coordinators criticize because they don't try to run the football enough. Well, when you get stuffed in the backfield like that, you understand why they would rather call the pass play. Manning set to go to the air. Throws it short. He's brought down at about the 45-yard line. 
That was a good-looking throw. Yeah, great throw, but maybe even a better read. He understood by watching what the defense did after the snap of the football exactly where to go with that ball. Manning doesn't like what he sees. Again with the carry. He makes a move and he's brought down. A dive picks up two yards with the carry. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 49. Manning comes to the line with three wide. And they use motion. Boot, boot, boot. Looking to throw. Looking for a receiver. And he's out of bounds, incomplete. The quarterback led the receiver just a little too much. Yeah, he put a little too much on that pass and forced the receiver to make the catch out of bounds. Manning is in the shotgun. Three wide receiver. Changing the play. Looking for an open man. There for the catch. And they get him at the 25. The quarterback's been putting up some good yardage. And having success early in the game like this frees up your running game because the defenses have to keep defensive backs in coverage, so now there's more space for that running attack. Play fake. He throws on the run. He's dropped around the 21-yard line. And quite a catch that time. He just went up there and grabbed it. Typically, receivers are a little taller than defensive backs, so it's not a bad play on occasion to throw one up and let your guy try and go and out jump the defender. Nice play fake. Is there for the catch. And a pretty smart play call right there. It really is so much the key to football. You talk all the time about you have to establish the run. Well, there you see why you establish the run and then you come with the play action pass. Just so hard to defend. The Colts changing their play at the line. Goes for the end zone. He jumps, makes the catch, touchdown. Sure, Peyton Manning has a great arm and he knows how to read defenses and all that. But I think the thing that really goes unnoticed sometimes about Peyton Manning is his competitive streak. When you talk to Peyton Manning, it is all about football and it's with an enthusiasm that's infectious. The snap, set down, the kick is up. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Not a bad kick. He'll return it from the six. Dropped at the 24-yard line. They were forced to punt on their last drive. They'll take over at the 24-yard line. They'll come out in the eye. Drops back on first down. It's incomplete. It looked like he tried to drag his feet as he was going out, but he couldn't get him down. You know, and sometimes that happens. The quarterback put it in a spot where only he could catch it. The problem was the ball was just a little off target. Counter play. The defender gets him to the ground. Not what they were looking for on that play call. You know, for a running back, there comes a point in time where you say, all right, this play is not working. Let me just get as much as I can and try to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Zebra, zebra. Drops back. Goes through his read. Tackled around the 32-yard line. 
The third down pass got them good yardage, but not quite enough to convert. Yeah, that was a tough third down situation. They got the good completion, a good gain on the play, but probably asking too much out of the receiver to try and break that many tackles to pick up that first down. He punts it. Rushing, fields it at the 31. I'm sure they would have liked to have gotten a little better return out of him there. Yeah, that certainly wasn't one of his best efforts there. Maybe if he would have gotten a little more help from his blockers, he could have broken one out of there. You know, sometimes it just takes one good block to create a seam to get one up the field. Changing the play. Drops back to pass. He throws left. And they get him around the 38-yard line. Good read of the defense on that pass play. Yeah, and throws like that really settle a quarterback down. It's all about getting into the flow of a game, and you can see he's getting comfortable now. Clark takes off to the right side. Back to pass. Short throw to the right. He gets knocked out of bounds at midfield. You know, you can say anything you want about Peyton Manning. The great size, the arm strength, all that other stuff. But I think that his study habits, what he knows about defenses, his coolness under pressure and big game situations, all that sets him apart. A dive gets the ball. Brought down at the 47-yard line. The old counter gets them two, maybe three yards. Manning lines up in the shotgun. Three wide receiver. The Colts changing their play at the line. Two minutes to go in the half. Second and seven. Ball on the 47. Throws it short, and it's incomplete. And now the offense will be faced with a third down situation. It's third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 47. New York comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Looking to throw. He throws right. Pass completed. He's brought down around the 42-yard line. Good pass and catch, but it won't be enough to convert. I always have to snicker a little bit when I see a pass play like that. I can almost hear John Madden talking about, how can you pick up the first down when you complete the pass short of the sticks? What are they thinking about? And he's just so right. Gets the punt away. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 21-yard line. The offense takes the field, hoping to put something together after their last drive ended in a three and out. Looks to pass. Gets the pass away. Across midfield. Inside the 30. To the 10. He's in for the score. They hooked up for a long touchdown. I don't care what you say. Anytime you see a big pass play like that, I think it's as pretty as anything that happens in sports anywhere.
This should add the extra point. Up and good. The kick is away. Heath from the four. Hit and dropped at the 25. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. They line up with one running back in the backfield, three wide. Hart motioning to the left. He's looking to throw. Comes down with it. And they get him at the 34-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play. Yeah, really a nice route that time. One of the keys to playing wide receiver is the ability to not only get into cuts, but to get out of the cuts. That time, very explosive coming out of that cut, and it made the difference. The defender was able to get a hand on it. And really, that came as a result of pretty physical play at the line of scrimmage. They're banging these guys around and not letting them get into their routes. They go with the run. He's dropped around the 35-yard line. Well, they tried to keep it on the ground for the first down. But not against this defense. You know, the way the rules are these days, that if you don't have confidence to throw the ball in that situation, you probably don't have much confidence in your quarterback. But Quarters takes it at the 25. They were able to score through the air the last time they had the ball. Let's see what they planned for this drive. New York comes out with three receivers in the shotgun. Luke 45! Luke 45! Looking to throw. Throws the bullet across the middle. Tumor was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on the 38. Manning is in the shotgun. He has three receivers split out wide. Back to pass. Gets the throw off. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. And the defense just ate that one up, Chris. Yeah, you're not going to fool this defense on plays like that very much. At least he got the ball out of there, though. He drops back. Throws on the run. But they knocks it away. The pass was deflected and swatted away by the defender. I think the quarterback may have had to throw that ball a little sooner than he wanted to. The pressure was starting to get there. Gets the punt away. Makes the fair catch. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Manning calls an audible. On the ground with a tailback. And they get him at the 32-yard line. Eight-yard gain. That'll bring up second down. And we've come to halftime here. The score is 24-10. Here's the kick. He'll return it from the three. Brought down at the 27-yard line. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Man in motion. He took a shot at the 30. 
a dive comes away with two yards on the carry. Single set backfield. Manning changes the play at the line. Stay with it. They'll keep it on the ground again. Brought down at about the 29 yard line. It looks like they picked up a yard or maybe a little less, and so it'll be third down. A die lines up as the single back, changing the play. Reset it, reset, reset. Fargo, Fargo, Fargo. Here's the give. He's brought down at about the 33-yard line. Pretty conservative call for that situation. Yeah, and especially when you consider that most offenses get between 9 and 12, 13 possessions per game. You call a run in that situation, basically you're taking away one of your opportunities. Here's the kick. He got some distance on it. And they make the fair catch. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. From the gun. Drops back on first down. Makes the catch. It's a fumble. And they fall on the loose ball. That one almost cost them possession. Wide receivers aren't necessarily the strongest guys on the field, and a lot of times they get that ball ripped out of there. Hands it off. He's going to be tackled for a loss. He was caught with nowhere to go. This is a pretty good running back, and if you can hem him up like that, pretty impressive. The Giants line up with an offset eye backfield. He fakes it. On the run, he throws it. He didn't get back to the line. They lose a yard there. He did a great job of keeping containment there. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that one. Punts it. Rushing, fields it at the 38. Tackled at the 42. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Boy, he hardly had any room to do anything there. They've got to come up with a better scheme or some better blockers or something. This guy's a good punt returner. He's just not getting any help at all from his teammates. Drops back to pass. He throws it. Knight catches it. Interception. Huge hit. And that will make his second of the game. And I know what he's thinking out there. He's trying to push the ball down the field, but you can't do that. You just have to read the coverage. If it's not there, check it down. Be patient. Give to the tailback. And they get him at the 27-yard line. After that run, they might want to give him the ball a few more times. I agree. It looks like the defense is a little tired out there. Whatever the case, they're having a tough time now stopping the run. First and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. Manning is under center. They'll come up in an eye this time. Nice play fake. Pass is complete. He's tackled at the 21. They fake the handoff and complete the pass for a six-yard gain. The Giants come out in the ace formation. Cut. 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 
He's brought down right around the 20-yard line. Gain of under a yard. That'll bring up third down. One man in the backfield. Cuts back and he's dropped. And that will bring up a fourth down. Well, that's just a big run stop right there. You have a very proud defensive line that was just going to take control of that situation. And he makes it. He put that one right through the upright. He kicks it off. Taken from the three yard line. He's still going. Hit and dropped at the 23 yard line. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Manning lines up in the shotgun. He has three receivers. Indianapolis motions left. Strong throw. Knocked out of bounds at the 35. Peyton Manning is just the prototypical NFL quarterback. Probably the surest bet week in and week out. A perennial pro bowler. Arguably the best quarterback in the league. Drops back on first down. And he caught it. And they get him around the 43-yard line. Strong, accurate throw leads to a pretty good game. Now, they didn't pick up the first down that time, but you drop back, you make a good throw like that. Now you're in position to try and pick up this first down. Indianapolis using an audible. Looking to throw. Dumps it out right. Steps out at the 48-yard line. That pass is good for a first down. And he had some zip on that one, didn't he? He reared back and threw that one about as hard as he could. Indianapolis changing their play. A die takes it up the middle. He's dropped at the 47-yard line. They get five yards on the play. That brings up second down. The Giants bring in the nickel packing. Manning changes the play at the line. Scans the field. He's there for the catch. Brought down around the 29-yard line. That's now 300 yards passing for the quarterback. Yeah, and this guy really knows how to lead this football team. You can just see it in the huddle. He's in control of all situations, not only in the huddle, but at the line of scrimmage. Good checks there. There's no question who's in charge on this football team. Rifles it left. Brings this one in. He's brought down right around the 22-yard line. Pretty nice read on that play to find the open man. Yeah, the two of them really have been working hard building a rapport in practice, and now you're starting to see some of those results out here on the field. Adjustment at the line now. They're going to pitch it. He doesn't get back to the line. That was a big-time play by a big-time athlete. If you want to be considered one of the top cornerbacks in the National Football League, everybody has to be able to cover. 
but the top guys can not only cover, but come up and make big hits like that. Tremendous play. Manning is looking to stay perfect on this drive. Throws wild on the run. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. Not much chance of converting that pass into a first down. Nah, and that's really what the defense was hoping for there. They settle their defense behind the chains, allow you to catch the ball, come up and make the tackle. Perfectly executed that time by the defense. And right down the middle. Good kick that time as he puts it right through. Decent kick. Field it at the four. And he's drilled. What a hit. They had to settle for a field goal on their last drive. They take the field again, looking to put up another score. The backfield is in the offset eye formation. They'll throw on first down. He's under a heavy rush. Oh, and he dropped. A great play by the defense to knock the ball away. And these defenders have been close all day. You better be careful if you're the quarterback. One of those is going to turn into an interception. Straight ahead with a fullback. He lost yardage on the play. The defense got the job done on that play. Really impressive play that time by this defensive line. It wasn't just one guy, but every guy up front just dominating their guy at the point of attack. Manning hands it off straight ahead. And he's drilled at the 28-yard line. Their defense did the job on that series. Yeah, nice job by the defense there, but offensively, now you have to begin to wonder just a little bit. They go back to the sideline, and you start questioning the play calling to some degree. Gets it away cleanly. Rushing takes it at the 36. Tackled around the 44-yard line. The last time they took the field, they were able to come away with three points. The Colts come out in the single back formation, three receivers wide. Sees something and changes the play. On play action. Brings it in. Great open field tackle. Talk about a throw. Yeah, you don't have to worry about one like that being intercepted. Nobody on the defensive side could have caught that bullet. Indianapolis changing their play. Gets it off. Right through his hands, he almost had the pick. Wayne was his intended target on that one, but they can't complete the pass. From the 43-yard line. Shotgun formation. Manning doesn't like what he sees. Reset it, reset it, reset it. Make a stand, D. Close one. Ain't never quit, fellas. Get him back. Gets the pass off. And he's knocked out around the 29-yard line. One of the things that really impresses me about Reggie Wayne is his intelligence. You can tell that he really reads defenses. He understands the nuances of what the defense is trying to do to him. And he has a great communication skill with his quarterback. They are just on the same page and they make defenses pay all the time. Gives to the back. And he will lose yardage on the play. Tried the run, but there was nothing available. And if you could make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole, and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. Manning calls an audible. Looks to pass. 
He throws short. He's dropped at the 28-yard line. Nice little pickup on that pass pattern. And I really shouldn't feel this way, but I get a little nervous every time this guy goes up to make a catch, you know, because he's had a little bit of a history of dropping some balls, but today doing a nice job hanging on and a big play there. He'll get the call again. He fights forward to about the 26. Got a couple, but will still be short of the marker. Yeah, and for a minute it looked like he might slip out of there, but uh, the defense got there, the pursuit was all over it, and they made a nice stop. Kick is up, and he got all of this one. And he makes it. What an excellent kick. I don't know about you, but I was getting ready to question the coach's decision on that one, giving him an opportunity from that distance. But boy, did he ever make that coach look smart there. Hickson from the three. Brought down at the 30. The offense takes the field, and we'll see if they can put something together after their last drive ended with a three and out. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. That started off poorly and only got worse. And you could see the running back there just saying, where are my guys? Where's my blocking? What's going on out here? Just need a little help from your friends. He's looking to throw. Passes. Makes the reception. He's tackled at the 34. Nice toss that time that'll get them a lot closer. You know, there's really no doubting this quarterback's physical skills. Sometimes he struggles with his mechanics or accuracy, but I don't think that there's really any issue. This guy has the ability to be an elite quarterback. Looks to pass. He throws on the run. And they get him right around the 44-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. It's tough to pay too much attention to a running back in the passing game because at least half the time they're staying in the block. So when they do slip out, occasionally they can hit you for a big play. They go with the run. Brought down at the 49-yard line. The halfback runs for four yards. New York sets up in the eye. Drops back, gets the pass away. He's dropped at the 37. That's the arm strength we've been talking about all week. And you know the amazing thing about this guy, we all talk about his arm strength, but did you see how fluid that delivery was? He didn't even look like he was trying to throw it hard. It's the tailback. What a hit! Gain of nine. That'll bring up second down. Short yardage situation here, second and a yard. The backfield is in the offset eye formation. He drops back to pass. And it's caught wide open. How about that catch? When you have a receiving weapon at the tight end position, it just makes it so much easier to pick up those little first downs. The halfback with the carry. Tackled right around the 22-yard line. Jacobs gets about a yard on the play. It's the ninth play of the drive. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one is the Colts, 30, the Giants, 13. And the whistle will blow this one dead. Here's the call. Hey, quit cheating, man. Full start, offense. 
And he definitely moved on that one. And it's so embarrassing to jump off sides for an offensive player because you know the snap count. But I swear there's so many things going through your mind, especially if the guy across from you is beating you in the head all day. Sometimes you just forget. They hand it off again. And they get him around the 24-yard line. I expected to see them pass him here. Well, I understand you don't want to get completely one-dimensional, but at some point you have to crank it up and try and make some plays, and I think that time has passed. Drops back to pass. Down the middle. It's picked. The defense looks like they're running a pick drill out there. And I think you said that well because this has been a team defense. They've been getting pressure, good coverage in the secondary, and this quarterback is struggling. First down, looking to throw. Throws a bullet. Brought down up to 21. With that last catch, the wide receiver has logged his 100th yard of the game. Just a good, solid performance here by the receiver. This guy is plenty tough enough. I, I like the way that he gets in and out of his cuts, but I love his toughness. He's never intimidated out there. Play fake. Makes the grab. He's dropped at the 40. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. One man backfield. The Colts changing their play at the line. I'm going. What is it? Sets up the play action. And it's caught. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. Clark picks up seven yards with that catch. From their own 47-yard line. Manning is under center. They'll line up in single back. Makes a chain. He's looking to throw, and he catches it. He's brought down at the 48-yard line. Pass was complete for a gain of five on the play, and that's good for a first down. Now we're starting to see this offense get in a nice little rhythm. The quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. They look sharp. Fakes to the back. Still good on the drive. And they get him right around the 32-yard line. This quarterback definitely has some confidence in his arm. And this guy's just proof positive that you don't have to have one of those rocket arms to play in the National Football League. As long as you have good accuracy and good timing, you can make winning plays. They hand it off. He's dropped around the 33-yard line. A gain of a yard, if anything, on the run. Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Three wideouts here. Manning adjusts the play at the line. Play fake. Strong throw to his right. Brought down at the 18-yard line. What happened there? Well, the defense was in zone coverage. They got good pass protection, and any time that happens, it tends to really stretch those zones and widen the holes. Manning doesn't like what he sees. Manning calls for motion right. We need noise, baby. That's it. 
Manning hasn't missed yet. With the hard throw out to his left. It'll be first and goal. Good yardage that time on the pass. And that was a little hum baby coming out of there from the quarterback. We've all heard about how strong his arm is, and we saw it there. Manning changes the play at the line. Hands it to the back. Makes a move and he's in. Touchdown. Joseph Adai is really becoming a bit of a show when he gets around the end zone. I can remember a few years back, he's jumping over the top of players, big plays in the playoff games, great runner in the open field. And once again, he shows his explosiveness and gets it in the end zone. Point after is good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. The kick. From the seven. They get him at the 27. On his last drive, the quarterback completed a pass, but to the other team, throwing another one could be disastrous to this offense. Jacobs alone back. On play action, he wasn't set when he threw. And they get him at the 45. They pick up solid yardage there. And I love to watch this wide receiver work. He is so patient with his routes. He gets down low into his cuts. And he really understands what the defense is trying to do to take him away. And he is working them over. He's tackled at the 45. And the halfback has nowhere to go. Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on their own 45. The Giants come out in the ace formation. Setting up play action. Throws out left. And he's out around the 49-yard line. Eight of five through the air. Yeah, very safe, simple play, hitting the underneath receiver for a solid game. The backfield is in the offset eye formation. Drops back to pass. Throws to his left. Fails to connect with his man. New York is going with the offset eye backfield. He fakes it. Throws on the run. Turnover on down. They'll get the ball here at the 49-yard line. It's first and 10. Sees something and changes the play. A die takes the give. What a hit. I don't think he even saw that guy. That's a two-yard loss. Wow, did you see the hit on that play? That's one of those you kind of stagger back to the huddle and you talk to the quarterback and you say, how about a pass on this one? Trying to change the play. Clark goes in motion. Play action, dumps it out left. Goes out of bounds right around the 48-yard line. The defense was right there for the stop on the play. Not much of a gain at all. Yeah, let's give a little credit to the coaching staff on that play. You, you talk all the time about film study and preparation and knowing what the other team is trying to do to you. That time the defense was all over it. They'll keep it on the ground again. And they get him at the 46-yard line. They'll need to mix it up a little better to avoid these three and outs. I don't know. I thought they looked pretty mixed up on that series. <laughs> I didn't see anything go right. McQuarters is the deep man awaiting the return. Right here, right here, right here. Right here. 
gets the punt away. Into the end zone for a touchback. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. He fakes it. Still moving. On the run, he throws it. He's pushed out at the 26-yard line. Gain of six off play action that time. Second down now, four yards to go. Ball on their own 26. Looked like someone might have jumped. Full start, offense. He moved a little early on that one. I used to always think that offensive linemen down, should go yeah. to the line of scrimmage and hold up either one finger or two fingers and look down when they get confused. Back to pass. And they're coming after him. And he goes down. They had a tough time picking up the linebacker on the blitz. We're starting to see a lot of these kind of guys come in the league, those who specialize in rushing the passer. So you'll see the defensive coordinator move them around a lot up front so that you can't be specific on who's going to try and block these great pass rushers. He's running out of time, and it's completed. Tackled at the 24-yard line. They complete the pass on third and long, but they'll end up short of the marker. You can see the confidence level of this defense. They know they can make open field tackles, and that's probably one of the great lost arts in the game. The ability to make the tackle in the open field and stop them short of the first down. Good play defensively there. He gets it away. Rushing, fields it at the 38. Brought down at the 49-yard line. What happened to the coverage there, Chris? Oh, come on. They completely lost containment on that guy. I mean, you just can't let that happen. I'll, I'll be honest. They were really lucky they didn't give up a touchdown on that one. Passes the ball with the catch. He gets knocked out of bounds around the 36-yard line. Nice little pass play there. And quarterback accuracy is so underrated in this league. You know, everybody loves the big, strong-arm quarterback. But in this league, you have to be able to make throws just like that. Manning changes the play at the line. Oh, yeah, bark, bark, bark. Learn draw. Right, right, left, left, left. Go, go, go. Manning hands it off straight ahead. Tackled at the 26-yard line. 10-yard gain that time. From the 26-yard line. Manning comes to the line under center. Only one in the backfield this time. A die gets the carry. He's brought down around the 24-yard line. Gain of two, and that will bring up second down. A die is the single setback. Changes this one at the line. 96 mirror. Left call, left call. Chain, chain. Right, right, right. Right, right. Don't lose your bike. Manning takes it back. Rockets it out. It's completed. He's dropped at about the 17-yard line. Gate of six on the play. They line up at the 18. Manning is under center. He has two tight ends. He's changing things up. Fumble on the play. A die recovered it. That one popped out, but they recovered it to retain possession. And it's not always who has possession when you go to the bottom of one of those piles. It's who comes out with it at the end of that little scrum discussion down there. 
I've actually been pinched and had my hair pulled at the bottom of one of those piles. Kick is up. And it's good! And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Not a bad kick. From the five yard line. At the 30. They get him at the 35. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Nice play fake. Catches it one-handed. Loss of a yard on the play. That'll bring up second down. It's a second and 11 situation here. Single back formation, three wide receivers. He's looking to throw. Throws it. Completed. And they get him at the 44-yard line. And simply a great throw there. Yeah, that really was a nice touch that time. Perfect uh, sort of combination of velocity and touch. A very catchable ball thrown by this quarterback so that you don't have to overly focus on what you're doing and you can get your eyes back down the field, try and get a good run after the catch. Brought down around the 47-yard line. And they go to the air to pick up the first. And that's one of the big differences in the game today. The fact that those third and short situations are basically passing downs now instead of runs. First down, looking to throw. He's dropped at the 44-yard line. And another connection that goes for good yarding. And we really see the trust that is developing between this receiver and the quarterback. That if the quarterback has confidence that you're going to be where he thinks you're going to be, he will throw it to you more often than he'll throw it to somebody else. Manning drops back. Short throw to the right. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Nice play there. Yeah, he did a good job of finding his receiver and getting the ball to him. Ace backfield this time. Looks to pass. Gets the ball away. Catch is made. Tackled around the 33-yard line. That pass put him over 300 yards for the game. And what's really impressed me has been his accuracy. He's been squeezing the ball into some tight situations all game. His accuracy has just been tremendous. Manning has completed every pass on this drive. It's picked off. That gives the defense their fourth pick today. And this quarterback thinks he's doing the right thing. He's trying to look off the defenders. He's trying to read the defense. They're just a little better than he is right now. Manning adjusts the play at the line. They'll give it off here. And they get him at about the 33-yard line. Four-yard gain on the play. That brings up second down. Manning is under center. Only one man back here. Manning gives it up the middle. Brought down around the 39-yard line. Five-yard gain, and that makes it third down. Two tight ends here. Manning changes the play at the line. The pocket is collapsing. Knocked away. 
The defender got there in time to break that play up. He did. He was able to get his hands on the ball, but if he had missed that one, that one might have turned into a really big play. McQuarters will be the return man. He punts it. McQuarters takes it at the 21. Tackled about the 27-yard line. Decent return there. He'll give his offense pretty good field position. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Defense closing in. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. And I'm sure at least one of these teams is happy to see this one in. Our final score, the Colts 40, the Giants 13.